The soul is either raised or cast down by the power of its own thought, speech, and action. Full of Saki, September 8, by Hazrat Anayat Khan. Commentary by Piram Rashid Anayat Khan. One should say to the mind, look here, you are my mind. You are my instrument. You are my slave and servant. You are here to help me, to work for me in this world. You have to listen to me. You will do whatever I wish. You will think whatever I wish. You will feel whatever I wish. You will not think or feel differently from my wishes, for you are my mind, and you must prove in the end to be mine. By doing this, we begin to analyze our mind. We begin to see where it is wrong and where it is right. What is wrong in it and what is right in it. Whether it is clouded with whether it is clouded, whether it is rusted, whether it has become too cool, or whether it has become overheated. We can train ourselves. We can train it ourselves in accordance with its condition. And it is we who are the best trainers of our mind, better than anybody else in the world. <clears throat> One should say to the mind, look here, you are my mind, you are my instrument, you are my slave and servant, you are here to help me, to work for me in this world. You have to listen to me, you will do whatever I wish, you will think whatever I wish, you will feel whatever I wish, you will not think or feel differently from my wishes, for you are my mind, and you must prove in the end to be mine. By doing this, we begin to analyze our mind, we begin to see where it is wrong, and where it is right. What is wrong in it, and what is right in it. Whether it is clouded, whether it is rusted, whether it has become too cool, or whether it has become overheated. We can train it ourselves in accordance with its condition. And it is we who are the best trainers of our mind, better than anybody else in the world. Each individually, each individual composes the music of his own life. If he injures another, if he brings disharmony. When his sphere is disturbed, he is disturbed himself. And there is a discord in the melody of his life. If he can quicken the feeling of another to joy or to gratitude, by that much he adds to his own life, he becomes himself by that much more alive. Whether conscious of it or not, his thought is affected for the better by the joy or gratitude of another, and his power and vitality increase thereby, and the music of his life grows more in harmony. Each individual composes the music of his own life. If he injures another, he brings his harmony. When his sphere is disturbed, he is disturbed himself, and there is a discord in the melody of his life. If he can quicken the feeling of another to joy or to gratitude, by that much he adds to his own life, he becomes himself by that much more alive, whether conscious of it or not. His thought is affected for the better by the joy or gratitude of another, and his power and vitality increase thereby, and the music of his life grows more in harmony. The heart must be tuned to the stage and the pitch where one feels at one moment with persons, objects, and conditions. For instance, when one cannot bear the climate, it only means that one is not in harmony with the climate. When one cannot get on with persons, that one is not in harmony with them. When one cannot get on with certain affairs, that one is not in harmony with those affairs. If conditions seem hard, it shows that one is not in harmony with the conditions. The most important subject to study in this whole life is ourselves. What we generally do is to criticize others, speak ill of them or dislike them, but we always excuse ourselves. The right idea is to watch our own attitude, our own thought and speech and action, 
and to determine ourselves to see how we react upon all things in our favor and in our disfavor, to see whether we show wisdom and control in our reactions or whether we are without control and thought. Then we should also study our body, for by this we should learn that the body is not only a means of experiencing life by eating and drinking and making ourselves comfortable, but that it is the sacred temple of God. <laughs>